Hello, this is Artificial Man, aka A.M. Seymour. How are you? I am here because during the editing process of this compilation, the Void Boy Plush reached its funding on Makeshift, and PM was so excited he ran out into the streets to put all the extra income into Genshin Impact stocks. The poor soul. So I am here to say thank you all so much for the support and if you have any worries about buying the plush during its prefunding stage, this is your chance to grab it now, cause once the time is up on it, it'll never be back on the market. Anyway, let's start these shenanigans, shall we? I don't care if I get cancelled for posting this, someone has to say it. Rust is a shade of orange. Look me in the eyes and tell me this is the same as Burgundy. Are we running out of discourse material, or...? I just realized that the kanji for bone looks like a little skeleton fella. And I can't get over it. Look at this little guy. What'd you do today? Walked. I slept. We live such extravagant lives, you and I. Yeah. Bad news. Your funny post is now going around with an addition that isn't that funny and ruins the punctuality of the original joke. Sad. Do mathematicians refer to tops and bottoms as numerators and denominators? They better now. Top picks for April? Ugh. Buddy, it's November. Wait. They're alive. And you can change that. My game master. A little terrified. When I'm liking your vent post, just know that I am kneeling with my sword to offer you supports. And my axe. Legitimately crying over the fact that I can't play Just Dance with my brother. He's over six feet tall with the grace of a baby giraffe. The apartment can't handle Rasputin. When you're a 14-month-old French infant in a military hospital in the late 18th century and that weird hungry guy comes into your room. I can't stop thinking about this post. I don't think any of that face when you make one type post that prompted over 20 minutes of research in me before. And if you know, you know. When people steal your tags, when they take your tags and use them in their blogs, like, hey man, those are my tags, you just stole them. You just made me click on my activity and read tags only to realize I'm reading my own tags. Evil. Give them back. Today on Facts I Just Made Up, the giant checks awarded on game shows cannot be cashed at regular banks. They must be cashed at the giant banks that issued them. I want this to be real, though. Cringe culture is dead, but also, no. An adult shouldn't base their entire personality on liking a single media property. Neither should a teenager. A self-respecting fan of any age really ought to have at least, like, three things they'll make an absolute fucking fool of themselves over at the drop of a pin. You know, diversify that portfolio. Take it from stonks. For some reason, for the past 30 minutes, I've been chanting to myself, do not conform to societal norm, do not conform to societal norm, while doing things that society will definitely not deem normal. Ugh, this picture of a snake peeking around the doorway is my fave. This snake is just, just looks so nice. Just checking in on you. What a good friend. He's also giving you a little sniff. Oh, praise me. I have gotten past the stupid writer's block. And now the next challenge... Getting over the artist block. Talking to your friends in text chat as a fast reader writer is a strange experience. You're left sitting there wondering if they're taking their time formulating a response, or you flashbang them with words. Hey, why in God's blue earth did the minions become the most popular characters in the Despicable Me franchise when Vector is literally right there? How'd you fuck that up? <gasps> did my Yowie stickers arrive? No. Oh, it was my bachelor's degree. People will say your ears before doing the stupidest thing you'll ever see. Oh man, it's the new YOLO. I ship this ship because I have eyes. I can see. I am the smartest person in the room. And I receive divine revelations about them in the dead of night, alone in my chambers. Therefore, Canaan. A part of adult life you never really realize as a child is the constant need for bowls in so many different sizes. You're always doing something and going, Man, I wish I had the right size bowl for this. No matter how many bowl sizes you have. It's true. You've stripped him of so many of his qualities that it's no longer he would not say that. It's, who the fuck even is that guy? 
I'm sorry, did you mean South Park Twitter? Watching something about conspiracy theories like that's Nazi propaganda that's been proven to not be true. And you might be onto something, but you really need to bring it back about two or three notches. <sighs> no, aliens didn't make that. It was Africans. No, aliens didn't make that. It was indigenous Americans. No, aliens didn't make that. It was Asians. No, Greek people aren't psychic or divine prophets. People are just predictable. And don't forget the fan favorite. Yep, the CAA straight up did that. These are reviews that were too short to make shorts out of, so I'm just gonna do them all in one go. Okay, here we go. Ghostly friend keeps nightmares away. He's a very good man. He's very dapper. We have tea on Tuesdays at noon. He keeps bad dreams away by using Dream Eater. And look how redundant he is. Not sure what the end game is. It was great at first, but turned to ash not too long after. <laughs> That was good. Tell me how shipping crickets in this way makes any sense at all. I opened the box and my house was flooded with hundreds of tiny crickets the size of coffee grounds. I'm disgusted. Mm -mm. Five stars. I am the author and I think I did a pretty good job. Hmm. I don't even know this was an LGBT bar when I arrived. I wasn't even gay when I got there, but after a great night of food and drink and men, I sure am now. Great place. Five stars. What was that third part? Really that big. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Damn. Can finally have that one cup to copy of day my doctor keeps telling me to have. Him. He sits on my desk and photosynthesizes. Very polite. I love him. Whoops! I follow this recipe to the letter and it's perfect for turning a perfectly good artichoke into a decorative giant pine cone. All of your other recipes, Outland, have been perfect. Is there a step missing in your written description? We'll continue to watch and admire you on Good Eats, Iron Chef, and practice your recipes, but as far as choke scripts go, we'll just have salad and use this recipe for making Christmas decorations. All the best and respect, Rick B. One star. Welcome back, Andy. Feel free to start the show however you want. Nice. Nice. Also, don't forget, guys, we still have the plushie going right now. Make sure. Okay, we go. Platonic confessions and acts of love and devotion. I will follow you to the ends of the earth, and I will not be falling in love with you about it. Thank God. I love it when people link Wikipedia pages instead of explaining the point. Like, the URL alone conveys so much disdain and contempt. Here is the information you desire. I found it with ease. For example, slide up. Turned us away while holding a table for someone coming later on. Poorly run and a major disappointment. Response from the owner. Wikipedia.org slash wiki slash table reservation. I enjoy the phrase creature comforts because I am a creature and I want to be comfortable. Aw, oh, yeah. I see this headline. Father says Baker ruined his son's birthday cake with their pathetic decorating skills. And as a former cake rex lover, I figured, sure, I'll buy it. Let's see this cake. Literally nothing could have prepared me for this cake. They paid $49 for this frog-themed cake. And honestly, no amount of money in the world could be put on this masterpiece. <laughs> it looks like a little frog butt. Boyfriend, if I killed someone, would you tell on me? Me? No, but I'd use it against you all the time. I'd be like, so are you going to walk the dog, or do I have to make a phone call? You ever sleep so little, you feel like a low-polygon version of yourself? Like you're just going to be running on reduced graphics today? Oh my god, it's in words! These two men are a threat to national security. You left out a few. There are more than two men? Yeah, it's got to be at least like, I don't know, four? Love that the favorite pastime of rich people in the 1800s was getting scammed, pretending to talk to ghosts. Yeah, they're still like this. I need to go to an Amazon-funded spiritualist meeting. Tesla's self-driving plant jet. Every corporate yoga retreat within a day's drive of San Francisco contains enough built-up J.O. crystal energy to blow Alcatraz to the moon. I wish I could find the article now, but this reminds me of the 2010 story of the Florida woman who tried to kill her husband by hiding a weapons-grade stash of bad energy harsh vibe crystals under his bed. The judge was like, 
I guess this is attempted murder, but the word attempted is doing an unusual amount of heavy lifting. Sorry about all the prawn bots. I'm trying to hit 75k followers and they got out of control. It'll happen again. Hear ye, hear ye. The weed law demands that you blaze it. Oh, hell yeah. The poll feature really took off because it taps into Tumblr's favorite activity, being extremely opinionated about things that don't matter. I will die on any hill. My kink is unloved characters suddenly being loved unconditionally. My kink right now is unloved characters suddenly realizing that they are loved unconditionally. <laughs> oh my god! New cooking show where the judge panel is a bunch of neurodivergent people with the same ick food and the chefs are challenged with finding a way to prepare it that the most amount of judges like. Bonus points if the winning recipes are put online somewhere. Oh my god, I need this show. Reading Aristotle. No idea what he's talking about. Check footnote. Uh, oh. No one knows what this paragraph means. I bet Aristotle didn't even know either. When the moon hits your eye like it's 445, that's November. I hate it. Whoa, dude. When I heard about rad femmes, I thought it'd be some of the most radical females. But these chicks are saying some bogus things about other babes. Not cool, dude. Not cool. Sudden death? Why we knew years before that it will come. Not so sudden now, are we? Sudden death? No, I'd been slipping arsenic into his coffee for five months. It was not sudden. Wait, this is about the new OnStars event, isn't it? It was, but I'm more invested in your story now. Please no one tell my wife. Wait, Andy, Andy, why do you have that phone in your hand? Andy, Andy, no, Andy, Andy! There's no bad art. There's no good art either. There's no art at all because you haven't drawn any. How dare you say these words to me? Mr. Andy, the editor, obliterate this man. Bap. <laughs> to scramble the stretch. Imagine, if you will, a guy... Then what if you put him in situations? I think I have really something here. Perceive with your perceivers. Garlic 2 by Mary Island. Damn, when did they release Garlic 2? <laughs> Welcome to doctor office. Let's see what's the problem. Where are your bones? I was hungry. I'm going to start calling American music A-pop for no reason. All my mutuals are posting about their A-dramas again. Cat Breaking Bad be like, let's see Paul Allen's card. American Psycho, I mean. Cat American Psycho, I mean. I'm sorry. Yeah, Cat Breaking Bad be like, Jesse, we need to lay in this beam of sunshine. You conjure such a beautiful world. Do you guys have any idea how hard it is to fight every fiber of my being to not say Paul Allen's card? Help, I'm being taken away by Magic IRS! They're auditing my wizard taxes! <clears throat> Ladies, gentlemen, and nons, we got him. Hey, saw some symptoms online. Reminded me of you. Save me, gay people in my phone! Gay people in my phone! Gay people in my phone, save me! Magic the Gathering tip. If you think and focus hard enough, you can summon cards to the top of your deck. However, in recent years, tournament judges have been learning telepathy to catch people doing this, so it's no longer a viable strategy. Fuck! They made the heart of the cards illegal! Hey, are you alright, honey? You barely put your poor bro in situations. Okay, but back when I could afford a therapist, my psychiatrist asked if I had written any fan fiction or planned out any in my head, and I was like, nah, not really. And she nodded and looked down at her notes and was like, so how do you feel about possibly trying Zoloft? I started laughing, and she was like, I know it sounds funny, but it's been six months without you engaging in your favorite hobby, and that's the sign that depression is getting to the point where we might want to try some treatments with meds in addition to therapy. So, like, yeah. So, babe, are you okay? You barely put your blurbo in situations. High school musical is a metaphor for bisexuality, and that basketball is the straights and theater is the gays. And when Troy's dad said, you're your basketball player, not a singer, Troy said, what if I want to be both? And the whole team acts like they're shook. Bisexual musical.
I think it's so fun that damn is such a casual curse word now. That it's basically become divorced completely from its original meaning. Like, oops, dropped my phone. Time to invoke the wrath of God about it in the most mildly annoyed tone of voice imaginable. Like, even around people who don't like swearing, you can often get away with it. Which is crazy if you think about it. Like, what the fuck? Broken glass looks so crunchy. I just want to crunch on marble like it's sugar. I think the Grand Canyon would taste like Starburst. I would disagree. Probably bad RPG idea. Cleric, who's trying to make everyone else atheists? It's their god, not anyone else's. That's a pretty good idea, actually. Sometimes, things that are fanon are worse. Why would you say something so controversial, yet so brave, on the internet? I have witnessed unspeakable horrors. The horrors weren't undescribable or anything. I just had to sign an NDA. No, I can't tell you what it is. Get, get, get out of my house!